So you started a business. Congratulations. Wouldn't it be awesome if someone could just tell you all the things you really need to know? Well, in this video, you'll discover the top 10 things our fabulous free mamas wish they'd known before they started their virtual business. Let's save you from their struggles. And make sure you stick with me till the end of this video because I'll tell you about a brand new training for freelancers that you're not going to want to miss. Hi, I'm Lauren Golden here with a new episode of Free Mama TV showing moms like you how to start and run a successful freelancing business from home. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new episode of Free Mama TV right here each and every Tuesday. Here's the thing, mama, you don't know what you don't know. And that's just a little bit tricky when you start a business for the first time. Believe me, I've been there and I started out as a social media manager back in 2014, 15. At that point, I had two kids under two and somehow I managed to quit my job and replace my salary all before I really figured out what a virtual assistant even is. Each client I worked with taught me important lessons and led me to a new opportunity. Every failure and misstep made me more and more qualified for the next gig that I took on. Through the Free Mama movement, I've helped over 4,300 women start their online business. And when I think about all of these women and the lives they've built for their families, my heart is full. And the thing is, everyone inside of our Free Mama community wants to help you be successful too. So I recently asked what they wish they'd known before they started, and here are their answers. Before we dive in though, I'd love to hear from you. What business do you dream about building? Let me know down in the comments below. These are the top 10 things the Free Mama said they wish they'd known before they started their businesses. Number one, Done is better than perfect. You don't need to spend so much time agonizing over your website or everything you post online. Are you a recovering perfectionist too? The truth is it's really easy to go down the slippery slope of wanting to get everything ready before you start. And the worst rabbit holes to go down are websites and social media. Yes, I believe you need to be visible and a website and social media profile can help establish you as a pro, but they do not need to be perfect. In fact, if you're aiming for perfection, you'll never get there because things can always be improved. Do not get stuck at this stage or let it turn into procrastination. Get the basics done and move on. You'll be tweaking your website for the rest of your business life anyway, so you might as well make a start. Number two, you already have the skills you need. If I had a dollar for every email I get from a mama who believes everyone else has more skills than she has, I'd have a lot of dollars. The truth is being a mama, managing a home, taking care of multiple priorities, negotiating with your toddlers, showing up for your family day in and day out, keeping things going even when you don't feel like it, I could go on and on. These are all fantastic skills to take into your business. You have mad skills and life experience. Don't ever forget it. Number three, pick your business name carefully. Now you might feel supremely confident that you know the exact business you want to build, but I'll tell you this for free. There's a strong chance you're going to change your mind as you grow. This can make the choosing of your business name tricky. You need to find something that's versatile. One of our mamas has VA in her domain name and she's no longer a VA. It's not the end of the world, but she finds it supremely annoying. So here's your pro tip. You'll never outgrow your own name. If you make your business name your actual name, it will always work. I have an entire video on this topic that you can check out here. Number four, finding the right support system is harder than you think. Building a business is a lot like having a baby. It's much easier when you go through it with other people who understand where you're at. When the initial excitement wears off, entrepreneurship can be surprisingly lonely. Finding a great online community and connecting with people who get you is really important. That's what the free mama is all about. You're welcome. Number five, other people won't always believe in you and that's okay. What matters most is that you believe in yourself. You can't please everyone and you shouldn't even try. There are billions of people in the world and a lot of them are business owners who need your help. You can't serve all of them. So thank goodness some of them prefer your competitors and some people in your family or network might not understand what you're doing. And that's fine too. Remember why you're building your business and use that drive to fuel your fire. All right. Number six, you aren't just starting a business. You're changing your life. 
The business is just the bonus. This is so true. I can't even tell you how many students have been through the Free Mama program and been blown away by the personal growth. Building a business has so many more benefits than money and flexibility. You will grow in ways you can't even imagine. I know when I receive testimonials for the Free Mama movement, while some of them talk about the clients they've gotten and the money they've made, almost all of them talk about the way they've changed as a person and how their confidence and their belief in themselves has expanded beyond what they thought was possible. So get ready. Number seven, you don't need to undervalue your work to get clients. Yes, yes, and more yes. The clients who pay peanuts are not the people who value your work. There are hundreds of thousands of business owners in the world. Choose to work with the ones who understand the benefits of working with you and expect to pay you accordingly. In my own personal experience, the clients who wanted a discount or wanted a lower rate or some sort of special treatment always ended up being the highest maintenance clients. That's not going to bring you a whole lot of job satisfaction, and it's definitely not going to fill your bank account. Check out my video about how to attract high-end clients when you're done watching this one. Number eight, beware of shiny object syndrome and focus on just one thing at a time. If you're a creative person, it's normal to have tons of different ideas when you start your business, but it's much more beneficial to focus on one niche. You don't need to offer everything to get clients. Your brain might be saying, I have to offer all the services or I'll lose all the people who need them. But the reality is by niching down, you become exactly what your people need. And when you focus on one thing, you get really good at it. Combine specialist expertise with an awesome customer experience and you're onto a winner. And for my multi-passionate entrepreneurs out there, you can have more than one business and more than one amazing business idea. I'm married to a multi-passionate entrepreneur. And when your brain is that creative, it can be really hard. You can do all of the things, just not all at once. So hone in and focus on one idea long enough to allow it to be successful before pursuing your next idea. Now you may need some accountability. So go back and watch number four about finding the right support group to make sure that you have people in your life who are gonna help you stay focused and committed. Number nine, things that seemed super important, like getting an LLC and figuring out taxes aren't actually that stressful. It's true. When you don't know how to do something, it's scary, but you can learn how to do them all. Take a step-by-step -step approach, get reliable advice. I know a really great program that can help you get there and get them done so that you can get to the really fun stuff growing your business, serving your clients and networking with amazing people. Last but not least, number 10, clients don't just magically appear when you start a business. Absolutely true. If you build it, they do not necessarily come. Visibility is key. You have to put yourself out into the world if you want people to hire you. And I know this is intimidating at first, but like anything else, there are processes you can follow so you learn how to do it a chunk at a time. Every single person on the internet started somewhere. And by networking effectively, you'll not only build a sustainable business, you'll meet some amazing people and form incredible relationships that will make your life so much richer. Now, if you're ready to build your business and experience major personal growth, now that you know all of these things that people a few steps ahead of you wish that they would have done, then you need to sit yourself down and watch my new free training on starting your freelancing business. There's a link to sign up below this video, get yourself an iced coffee or a hot chocolate and cue it up. Also, if you want to join a community of mamas just like you and get that support we talked about in today's video, I have a Facebook group where thousands of mamas come together for support and action taking tips and motivation. And as always, if you liked today's video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe, share it with your fellow mamas, take a screenshot, tag me on Instagram. I always share it and comment down below with hashtag I am a free mama if you are ready to take action and start living the free mama life. Dun, dun, dun. I can read. I can read. <laughs> Maybe. Let's keep going. Taxes, taxes, taxi. Taxis, taxes, <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay.